Hey, I'm Dale and this is Ori in the Blind Forest and in this video we're going to be getting into some DLC content. And the DLC content is the story of Naru and Naru's people. So, let's see. So this is the story of Naru's childhood and her tribe. Um, this is this is definitely some endgame stuff here. Uh, it's not post completion because I don't think that there is anything post completion. Um, I think you cannot play the game after you've completed it, but it is, pr it is pretty difficult. Um, as you can see, the main difficulty here is that this is... everything here is completely black. You cannot see anything. And there's barely any light anywhere. And obviously, I cannot go that way. And as you can see, I've taken so much damage already. So yeah, this mechanic comes back and as you can see, it makes some stuff appear slash disappear. I don't think this will follow us though, so unfortunately, unlike the orb in the Gaman's place. Come on.
Okay, so they do respawn this. Let's save. Because I did not know what to do there. Um. Okay, so this is pretty... Okay, it's pretty open for now. For now. I can see that I've missed some stuff there on the right. That's where we should go next. So I don't know what this is going to do, so let me save. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like I can actually do anything right now. Okay, so this disappears. Hmm. Oh, okay. See, this is... This is very challenging. Just look. And I cannot save. Awesome. Let's redo this whole thing. Okay, look, it's not that bad once you know what you're doing. I actually this di this DLC is good but it's not my favorite because I personally don't enjoy I don't enjoy uh, darkness in video games Awesome. So 
So, like, I don't mind this DLC, but if I was to buy it separately, uh, like, if I bought the original game and then bought the DLC... Well, I kind of did, because I actually bought the original game, and then I bought the Definitive Edition with the DLC. So yeah, I paid for this. Come on, I cannot... I do not know where to, when to jump. My timing's all messed up. Okay, so we made our way here. I still don't know how would I get up there. Because I think this is the way forward. Let me save and let me just... Maybe this way? No. Okay, it's faster to just die at this point. Okay, so there are platforms that go here. Good. Because I wanted that. And that other thing, um, the way right, looked like a way forward. Which it was. So... Ooh. Okay, so, so far so good. Looks like we've picked up everything. Now we... There still aren't shown um, energy cells on the map, but uh, ability cells, life cells and XP is already supposed to show on the map. Okay, and how to get there, I wonder. Oh, yes, it was this. Sorry, I thought it was XP. They look kind of similar. Oh, 
Okay, I see. Okay, so I need to leave this here. I really don't remember much that happens in this DLC, so bear with me for a moment. There you are. Light it up, baby. Yes, this is much, much better. Yes, please. Because I... I really dislike... Darkness in video games and... This place was just hurting me. Oh? An ancestral tree? So as far as I can remember, this is some sort of dash. It's exactly just dash, RB. Okay. Um, I was testing it out. Let's... it's saved. Let's go down there and see what's down there. Oh, it's a timer. Okay, let's go. We made it! I did not notice those things on the ground. Wow. Yay. So they are already making us use the dash ability. It's fun. Oh, and this opened up the way.
No, I don't have any stone fragments. Um, I'm not done with this area. There's something up there. I honestly thought that um, that up there was the way forward and this down here was an optional thing. But turns out not at all. Uh, it was the other way around, so... Mm. I can just stump this. Okay, before I do, because this seems like entering a new area, this DLC. Um, I want to go up there and check out that thing. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. Hmm. Not too fun. Yeah, so this thing. Not this bumper. I pressed left bumper. Oh, okay. Now, seriously, it's 40% complete. Probably because it's counting this underground. Um, Port. Yes, uh, wrong bumper again. Oh, but I'm not going that way, I'm going this way. Okay, so I guess it's dash again. And again, it's not, it's the other bumper. I'm using the wrong bumper all the time. Every time. Right bumper. And I'm dead. You can only use this dash when you are on the ground.
two ways to go. Okay, seems like the way right is just a way for for getting this. But actually, it goes down as well. Hmm. Come on. Well, oh, it's saved. Let's try going right. Wow. This is really terrible. Bash on the what? that it's a good thing that the game told me um. I I'm just going to save um, wait a bit and save again uh, just because there's some energy here and I need the life. See, um, oh well. Come on. Wow, this was a wild ride. Ride. Um.
I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. But I did it. Oh yes, and now it's open. So I was supposed to do that. See, so for example... So for example, um, this thing, jumping over it, requires me to have the super jump. So it is endgame stuff. Let's go left because the bottom right part is cut off. And I don't know if it's... I don't know if I need to use this guy for anything. I don't think so. Wow. This looks... Um okay, so I guess I need to dash here. Okay, let's go. I can actually stand right here. Too early. Oops. Come on! I always meet Miss... Okay, I made it. Okay, so it seems that Naru's tribe was not much for the spirit, light spirits or whatever they are. Mm. I'm 
Okay, so I cannot get here yet. There's something. Do I have to climb this? I have to climb this again. <sighs> okay, let's save. Also, let's... So the exploration tree is maxed out now. So we should be able to see absolutely everything on the map now. Um, I still don't know how to get there. And there, I need to get there. Um. So this is where they played. Let's go down. There's something. There's uh, the ancestral tree. or hold LB to cast a light burst. I honestly don't remember this. Okay. This will help us wi with these. Oh, and I can aim with left stick. Can I, like, undo them? No. Okay, since here's a huge crystal, let's save again. Oh, and it, this is gone now. So we can try to get this ability point up there to the right. Ow. Dick. You are a dick too. Everyone's a dick. Um... Can I get there? Okay, so I can use this to take out those green things.
Yes, ability point. And now, can I get... I should be able to get down there, right? Because I should be able to throw this thing somewhere. This is big, because this whole area will be underground, underneath. So I guess... Okay, so... This DLC gets better, I guess. So, as I was saying, it gets better. Mm, because I only remember this first part. The part where I had to... Um, I was like blind, completely blinded by the darkness and couldn't do anything. Come on, let me out. There you go, I helped you. Mm, okay, where am I going now? This way and down. Even further down. Where should I... Okay, maybe I should throw it up there? Yes. Okay. Come on, come back here. Come back here.
and it opened the door for me. Hey, that that was not fair. I okay, I was not there. Okay. Um we are almost done with this, I think. Uh it is great. Good thing I saved, right? Oh come on. There's something to the right up there. Oh yes, because this is closed off. I cannot go there yet. And cannot go there yet. Nothing underwater. Well, I guess there's this. Yes, an ability cell. Um, so this is it. And is this it? I think this is it. It's really beautiful here, don't you think? Except for these jerks. I don't think that there is a
I don't think that there's a secret passage in that upper right corner. What should I do? Okay, what if I... Um, go there and stick to the wall here? Didn't work. Can I... Can I throw this here? Okay. And now I can get here. Yeah, but... Um... Oh, awesome. Just what I needed. Let's repeat this really fast. I cannot save here. Um, okay, that's okay. I can save here, right? Yeah, um... No, 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 no. How do I cancel this? Can I cancel this somehow? Okay, with a jump. Jump. Um, Let's use this. Okay, and I do not have to keep it. Um, let's save because I can and because there's free energy here. And an ability cell and now I'm at 3. Okay, what am I doing? What does this do? Oh, it opens the thing up there. Can I dash fast enough to reach it? The answer was I could. Good. Um... I cannot save here. I just tried.
But did he turn into stone, or is this a like a gravestone for him? I think it's a gravestone because otherwise, when Naru died, uh, there would have been a um, she would have turned to stone too. Wow! Look how beautiful this place is like a beach, like a tropical beach. Let's see, it says I'm 99% complete, probably because I never inserted the stone the fragment into the stone map. Let me let me fast travel up there. No, how do I here? And there is the... Let's see... Now the whole map's unveiled, even though it was unveiled anyway. No, it still says 99%. I've missed something. But I don't see anything. Hmm. Well, I think this was all. This is Moon Grotto. I don't know what else... what else is missing. Okay, let me teleport back down there and let's walk back out. I don't know. Let's try this and if not then... Mm. If not then we'll teleport back out of there and... I'll look into this when it's time for the final mop up. Did I miss something here? No. Maybe I missed something up here? And it looks like... No. Can I throw... Um, a light at him? No? 
Okay. So, I believe this is everything, actually. And so, I don't know what's missing. Okay, let's just teleport out of here. And we'll... we will... I will look into this. So this is... So this is mo most of the DLC, if not all of it. Yeah, I think... I think we've... Oh, there's a little spot above the ancestral tree that we have not visited and that's probably why the map says this area is 99% complete because we've picked up everything but we haven't uncovered uncovered um, all of the map let me jump up there yeah there's something Let me see. Yes, now it says 100%. So this has been the Ori and the Blind Forest DLC. The story of Naru and how she was friends with the children of the spirit tree. But it was kind of forbidden by her father. And she lived in this beautiful spot there with the lake and at the beachfront with her father throughout her whole childhood and then her adulthood probably as well and then he passed away and she left and you know then she lived outside and found Ori and stuff I it's a nice it's a nice DLC the first part Fortunately, the small, smallest part of this DLC is um, kind of annoying um, for me personally. I talked about this already, how I dislike darkness in video games and this was... Well, I remembered it. I did not remember much else about this DLC. I just remembered that there was some annoying darkness. Uh, in it so it's st stuck with me and otherwise this DLC has been fun um, it gave us additional skills that we will use to mop up the rest of the things because for example over here I saw the thing that we can light now with the DLC so I think that there are now additional things in the game that that were not there in the base game because you could obviously 100% the base game um, without the skills from the DLC um, and it was quite a big area um, I think it was worth it overall very nice DLC um, I'll go back to the Sunken Glades and Next time, the, the, the next video will be the final mop-up video. We will collect everything that we see on the screen, hopefully with no unexpected adventures. Um, so see you then, have a nice day, and bye!